Welcome back, everyone, to part three of our Chapter 10 Conic Sections. Uh, part one, if you haven't checked it out, please go back and look. Uh, we did parabolas. Uh, part two, we did circles and ellipses. And then now in part three, we're going to do hyperbolas, where we slice the cone straight up and down. And we get actually two parabolas that are facing opposite of each other. Uh, so one thing, I oh, jumped ahead there real quick. Let's go back. One thing we're going to look at right now is our hyperbolas here. And notice that it's pretty similar to what we did with ellipses. Now, the big thing that's different here, okay, is that we have a subtraction going on. All right, this subtraction tells you right now we are doing hyperbolas because ellipses is pretty much the same thing, but we had addition, okay? So, two examples. I know my pre-cal class is going to use their formula sheet that they're following along with these examples. If you're not in my pre-cal class, thanks for tuning in. Uh, just get out a scrap sheet of paper and we'll follow along. This is our first example right here. Remembering that every conic, H goes with X, Y goes with K. So our first finding out our center is HK as 1, 1, and we graph it. Now, the big deal here is that X is first. X is our first variable, as we'll see in the next example, Y is first. But if X is first, we know that these open right and left. So we will have two parabolas facing opposite each other. So this hyperbola, that's the whole thing here, this hyperbola opens left and right. So what we do, very similar to the ellipses, we notice that underneath the X, we have A squared is equal to 16. So a squared equaling 16, that means a has got to be 4. Underneath the y, we've got b squared equaling 4. So therefore, b has got to equal 2. So now, remembering that what's ever underneath the x, that moves us left and right from the center. Whatever's up uh, underneath the y, that's up and down from the center. So we're going to go left and right 4 and up and down 2. And we make our marks. Now, this is the big difference from ellipses. We were using these points before in ellipses to draw our ellipse. We're going to use these four points now to draw a rectangle. And we draw this rectangle. And then once we're do the, done with the rectangle, we're actually going to draw the diagonals. The diagonals work as asymptotes for how wide or how narrow these ellipses are. It's not ellipses, but these hyperbola. A parabola on each side is going to work. So we have these right here, knowing that we are going to use these as our vertices. You can actually just count this, negative 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Those would be your vertices. Or you could actually follow the formula, H, 1, plus or minus A, which was 4, and then comma K, which was 1. So you got 1 plus 4 and 1 minus 4. So we got 5, 1 and negative 3, 1. Those are our vertices right there. And we know that since those are our vertices, we're going to open these left and right. Make sure you don't cross the asymptotes that are right there. All right, kind of similar to the ellipses. We've got to find our C value for finding our focal points. Here we're just going to add them. And the other ones for ellipses we were subtracting. So C squared is going to be a squared plus b squared, so 16 plus 4, so c squared is equal to 20. So c is going to be the square root of 20, and you need your calculator for that. You'll get 4.5. We'll use that 4.5 right here. So we will go 1 plus and minus 4.5 comma 1. So 1 plus 4.5, 1 minus 4.5, that'll get us two focal points at 5.5 from the origin, 5.5 comma 1 and negative 3.5 comma 1. Those are inside each part of those, so that is how you graph a hyperbola. Again, the big thing, it opens left and right because the x was first in our formula. So the next example, you're going to see y is first. So if y is first, it's going to be up and down. Okay. Now, a lot of th times people still got to remember for every conic, X will always go with the H and Y will always go with the K. So you got to remember that when you're starting this. Okay, So we are going to have a vertex of 1 and see how it's plus 3. Think opposite, 1, negative 3. So 1, negative 3 is our center. 
we are going to go up and down. So here, a squared is still the first number. It was different for the ellipses, so make sure you keep it straight. a squared is equal to 9, so therefore a has got to be 3. b squared is equal to 25, so therefore b has got to be 5. So up and down 3, and left and right 5. Okay. So that makes those our marks right here. Now remember, we're going to draw a rectangle with this and draw the diagonals that go with this. Now, it's an up and down. Now, this, this rectangle is pretty wide. That's okay. That's why we use the rectangle and the diagonals. That gives us our asymptotes. So this is going to be a really wide uh, hyperbola that opens up. Here's our vertices again of 1, 0, and 1, negative 6. You can count them. 1, 0, 1, negative 6, or you could follow along with this right here, all right, h was 1, k was negative 3, plus and minus a, a was 3, so negative 3 plus 3, that's 0, negative 3 minus 3, there's your negative 6, so that's how we're getting our vertices that are right there and right there. The only other thing we have to find is our focal points. You have to add up and take the square root, so c squared is equal to 9 plus 25, so c squared is equal to 34, so c is going to be the square root of 34. You plug that into your calculator, you get 5.8. So now, 5.8 you're going to use. So h, it was 1, k, negative 3, plus and minus 5.8. So you use your calculator, you could probably do that in your head. And you'll wind up with our two focal points uh, from the origin, 1, 2.8, and 1, negative 8.8. So there's two examples of hyperbolas to show you an HK form. Again, big thing to remember that's different than the ellipses, as you hopefully watch part two of conic sections. A and B doesn't switch. The first number's A, second number's B. The big thing that's different from that, again, is the subtraction that's in the middle here. Addition. That's your ellipse. Subtraction, that's your hyperbola. If the x is first, it's left and right. If the y is first, it's up and down. I appreciate you tuning in to part three. If you haven't checked out parts one and two, make sure you do that as well. All of those deal with the basic HK form of each of the conic sections.